Hello Retro Gamers, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to set up Retro Arch on Android. Now, as you know, there's a lot of handheld devices coming out at the moment, very popular. And if you're new, you won't have a clue how to set these up. As you can see here, I've got the Retro Pocket 3 Plus. We have the Orden 2, which is an excellent device. We've also got a good old Samsung tablet with a Bluetooth controller. We can even, this is my Poco Bluetooth controller. Like I say, it's going to be very, very popular. You can play them on phones, tablets and handhelds. So like I say, I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to go through it really slow, how to set Retro Arch up. Now right, let's dive straight into Retro Arch. Right, so once you've got Retro Arch downloaded on either your tablet, phone or handheld, I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to go through this really slow, because like I say, if you're new to Retro Arch, I don't want you to keep pausing it, because it's an art right. I've done that on other videos on YouTube. So nice and slow. So once we've opened it up, the first thing we're going to do is go to the cog, the wheel here, on the right side. Click on that. And we're going to go down to drivers, which is this one, as you can see. Click on drivers. Then we're going to press menu at the top. And we're going to select X. M B. Then we're going to go to the little house again on the right at the top. Click on that. We're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to quit Retro Arch. Now we're going to open it back up and you met with a totally different display. This is so easy to navigate, a lot better than the previous one. Right, so we've done that. Next thing we need to do is go down to online updater, click on that. We're going to update database, so just click on that. We're going to update assets. Controller profiles. Then we're going to come out. Configuration file. We're going to save current configuration. Back out. Now we're going to go to online updater again. Core downloader. Now these are where all your cores are. For whatever systems you want to play. So all of these are here. From Arcade to Atari to Mega Drive. All your favourite systems. So all you have to do is just click on them. And they'll download. As you can see. I've got a few downloaded. So once you've chosen which cores you want. You also will need your ROMs. Now you can either pop them in your SD card if you've got one or on your system. So we're going to go back out there. Once you've done that, we're going to go out, go to configuration file again, save current figure configuration. Back out again. Then we're going to go across again here. We're going to click on user interface. We're going to go down to appearance. You don't really have to do this, but and if you go down to here, you can select different backgrounds. Or you can just turn it off. I'll just keep that one on. Right. 
Next we need to do on screen display. Go down to on screen overlay and turn this turn this off, sorry. So turn it off. This if you're not using an handheld and you've not got a Bluetooth controller, leave this on because this is on screen controls. So you don't really want to you're seeing them when you're playing a game, especially if you've got an handheld or Bluetooth controller. So we'll go back off that. We're going to go down there. And we're going to come out of here. Where I thought it was on. And we're going to go down to input. We're going to go down to hotkeys. Now this is important because this is how you can change your games if you want to. So we go to this one, menu, toggle, controller, combo. Now you can select different ones here. All this does is brings up the menu. If you want to change your settings or you want to save a game or you want to, like say, change a game or whatever, or change the core. I've got L3 and R3. I do recommend that or... Sometimes I do use down and select. So I'll stay with that. Uh, L3 and R3. So we'll come back out of there. Like I said, save your configuration file again. So save co configuration. Right. So once that's done, then we need to scan for our game because. As you can see here, these are my emulators. Even though you've downloaded your course, which is your emulators, these won't show up until it's found the games. So what we'll do, I'll just demonstrate. We'll do the Atari 520. I'm going to delete the playlist. So if you want to... So I can just explain. I'll go to playlist. see the Terry 520 is not there now so we're going to click on this now you can have a do a normal scan or a manual scan I've got to point out when you do a manual scan some games don't show up on retro arts I don't know why I don't know it's the database so I'm going to do a manual scan like I say you can do a, you, I'll just show you anyway you go and scan directory Go to wherever it is. So this is this storage here. This is your device. If you go down to here, this is your SD card. So I'm going to click on here, storage. Oh, sorry, it's this one. Sorry about that. So storage emulated, that is your device. So click on that one if your ROMs or on your, your system. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, I've made a folder, Atari 520. Click on that and scan this directory. Go back out. So like I say, if your games are on your device or your handheld, it's storage, emulated, zero if they're on your SD card click on that one and as you see when we go across all the games are there I'm going to go back now and I'm going to show you how to do a manual scan this will pick all games up so if you've like got a few new games or homebrew games so we'll go to manual scan, contact directory. So same again, have a, your device, which is storage emulated, or this one here with a number. You'll have a number, This the number will be different. This is the number of my SD card. So just remember it's this one here next to the, not the bottom one, the one up. 
we'll go to this I'm going to click on Atari 520 scan this directory and then we're going to go down system name Atari 520 then default core click on that then stir up the scan so that's like I said some games when I first set up restaurants there's a few games missing and I, I didn't understand and for some unknown reason there must have, there's a certain database on here and it won't pick all games up but now I've done that so it's picked up everything even my own brew games Right, we're going to start a game. I'll just show you how to get into your options. So, so click on. And there we have River Raid. Now, if you want to change your game, like I said, I'll explain. You click L3, R3. This is what you met with. So you can save your states. Don't really have to go into any of these. So we'll go back and there's your games again. Right, let me just point out before I finish this video. Some of these emulators, they will need BIOSes. Now if you go back and have a look at my videos, a lot of these I've set up, so don't worry about that. For instance, the Amiga, you will need kickstart runs for that one. You need BIOS for the Odyssey, also the Intellivision. So, like I say, have a look at my previous videos. Like I say I've done another video in the past on Retros, but with it being updated, things get moved around, and so if you do watch my previous video. It's completely different from this setup because RetroArch has changed some of the settings around. So that's why I've done a, an update to this. If you do hit any issues, just get back and just put it in the comments. I'll get straight back to you. But basically, this is it. Hope you enjoy playing your old retro games. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. We'll be doing a lot more emulators. I'm going to be covering everything on Android. Right, thanks for watching. See you soon.